All right, let's move on to question nine. <clears throat> so this question, people suffer from kidney disease, encourage not to consume star fruit because it contain high level of oxalic acid, which is diabasic. Okay, diabasic means that it releases 2H plus per mole of your acid, oxalic acid. Okay, so most likely it has uh, two COOH, uh, two of this COOH group. Concentrated of this oxalic acid is between 0.5 mole per dm cube to 1 mole. Concentration can be determined by performing a titration with your sodium hydroxide. So a student suggested that 25 cm cube be patted into a conical flask titrated against 1.6 mole per dm cube sodium hydroxide using a burette. He rinsed the burette and conical flask with tap water, distilled water and oxalic acid. So this is a big no-no. Huh? We never rinse conical flask with the reagent. That will change the number of moles of your reagents for the titration. Okay, so burette, wash and rinse with sodium hydroxide. So the error is he rinsed the conical flask with the reagent. Okay, so it means that there are more number of moles. There are more number of moles of your oxalic acid in the conical flask. Okay, which leads to inaccurate titration reading. <clears throat> Okay, so assuming that the error was corrected, based on the info, calculate the maximum volume of sodium hydroxide. Okay, so if you look at the equation, right, uh, based on 1 mole per dm cube, and we have uh, 1.6 mole per dm cube, the ratio of acid to base is 1 is to 2. Okay, so if we have like a... 25 cm cube of the acid, we basically will get about 0 0.025 moles of the acid, but the H plus it will react with is 0 0.050 moles. Alright, so the ratio is 1 is to 2. Okay, so if we have 0 0.050 moles, uh, we got to divide that. Divide your moles, divide by volume, okay? Moles divide by volume, moles divide by concentration, beg your pardon. Moles divide by concentration gives you the volume, okay? So you get about 31.3 cm cube for the maximum volume of NaOH that you should use. Okay, please take note that we are using uh, 1 mole per dm cube. Question give us the range of 0 0.5 to 1 mole. But we want to calculate the maximum, maximum volume that we need to use. So we will use the maximum uh, concentration for the oxalic acid. Okay, part C. Uh, oxalic acid contains 2.2% of hydrogen, 26.7% of carbon. The rest is oxygen. So you just take 100 minus 2.2 and 2.67. Okay, so you end up with 71.1% uh, of oxygen. So just divide it by the AR and then you get like uh, this number of moles for each of the elements. And then you divide by the smallest number, you will get a uh, empirical formula, All right? They are ratio. Okay, so their ratio for empirical formula is actually here. Uh, this is actually the working for the next part under molecular formula. Okay, given that it is uh, like 90. Okay, so we work out the MR here, right? Which is uh, 12 plus 1 plus 32. 12 plus 1 plus 32, so it's 45. 45, so N has to be 2, so that is equal to 90. So this is our molecular formula as determined by the relative molecular mass. The okay, last part, a patient was advised not to consume more than 0 0.05 gram of oxalic acid per day. Okay, if a serving contains 0 
227 moles of oxalic acid, calculate the maximum number of serving the patient can consume. So we just got to work out, right, this 0 0.05 grams, how many moles, how many moles of oxalic acid is that? And then we see how many uh, servings we can accommodate if per serving is this amount. Okay, so we found out 0 0.05 divided by the MR is uh, 0 0.0005556 moles. So we just take the this maximum amount that the patient can consume, right? And we divide it by the number of moles in one serving. So approximately we get like four servings. So that's the max a patient should uh, max amount of star fruit a patient should take. Hi parents and students, I'm Mr. Kwa, founder and principal tutor from Mr. Chemistry. I do these videos to help more students understand difficult chem concepts and hopefully more needy students who are not able to afford tuition, they can benefit from these videos. Please help me click that like button and share it with your friends so that more students can benefit. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye!